And when the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, Every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And inspired by the Spirit, he came into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And his father and his mother marveled at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is spoken against, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts out of many hearts may be revealed. And there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age, having lived with her husband seven years from her virginity, and as a widow till she was eighty-four. She did not depart from the temple, worshipping with fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she gave thanks to God, and spoke of Him to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. In this fourth joyful mystery of the Holy Rosary, the presentation, many things are happening that are of profound significance. I want to speak about two things which stand out. First, when we look to Christ. This presentation, this mystery of the rosary, this moment in his life, is a manifestation of his humility. It's a sign of the lengths to which he will go to save sinners. Jesus Christ came to save sinners. That's his mission. That's what he came to do. And in this presentation, this fourth mystery of the joyful mysteries of the rosary, he is manifesting this mission. He's engaged in this mission. And this particular mystery is a manifestation of his humility. How is it a manifestation of His humility? Well, we have to understand who Jesus is to perceive this. Christ does not need to be presented to the Lord. He does not need to be presented to the Lord. Why not? Because He is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is consubstantial with the Father, as the Church says in the Creed. And this is the essence of His humility. Christ, in this mystery, takes upon Himself, by His own will, the appearance of one who needs to be presented to the Lord, the appearance of one who needs to be blessed and sanctified by God. Why does He do this? Because He's showing us what we must do. Jesus will say later, Come, follow Me. In this way, He is a great leader, because a good leader doesn't ask his subjects to do that which he himself would not do. Christ is taking upon Himself the appearance of one who needs to be presented to the Lord, and He is in this mystery. And so we must do the same. On account of our sinful state, we must be presented to the Lord in order to become holy and justified. We must go to the Lord, beginning with baptism. And don't wait on that one. If you have a child, bring them to baptism. But also, we must present ourselves to the Lord every single day. Every time of sincere prayer is a time of being purified of our sinfulness, of representing ourselves to the Lord so that He may bless us and sanctify us. The second important reality in this mystery that stands out is found in the persons of Simeon and Anna, mysterious figures in the New Testament. They achieve the goal of every human life in this mystery, to see the Lord Jesus, to see the Lord Jesus. That's our goal in life, 
to see him. How is this made possible for them? Well, we read about Simeon, that he was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel. He was righteous and devout, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. From Anna we read that she was in the temple, fasting in prayer, night and day. From this we learn that it is holiness of life that enabled them to see Christ. In this way, by holiness of life, we will see Christ with the eyes of our soul. We shall behold Him. We shall feel Him near to us by our holiness of life. There is a caution contained in this mystery that we must heed. Those who choose to live in sin are blind to the presence of Christ. They are in the darkness. Now, there's a difference between the darkness of what we call spiritual darkness or a time of dryness, which God permits us to have to exercise our faith. But then there's the darkness of sin, much different. That is a blindness. In that darkness, no one knows which way to go. They feel no hope in their heart. That's the warning for us. Dear brothers and sisters, may the presentation of the Christ child in the temple, in this fourth joyful mystery of the Holy Rosary, inspire us to present ourselves to Him always, each day, that we may be made holy, blessed and sanctified, and that we may see with the eyes of our soul the living God. God bless you.